In an ancient manuscript, hidden away in the vaults of time, there lies a powerful secret, a secret so compelling that it has the power to transform the ordinary into extraordinary, the mundane into the miraculous. For those who dare to unlock this secret, they find themselves on a journey that transcends the realms of possibility, embarking on an adventure of fortune alchemy. So, let's immerse ourselves into the mystery as we unravel the very first step of this magnificent journey, vision crafting. Picture yourself as an architect drafting blueprints, not for a building but for your destiny. Vision, my friends, is nothing but the seed you plant today for fortunes you wish to harvest in future. It's about creating an ideal future so vivid, so real that it begins to manifest itself into the physical world. Now, you might wonder how to plant such a seed. The answer is simple, you clear your mind of clutter and fear. It is the clutter of your surroundings, of your past experiences, of your doubts and fears that suffocates your vision. Strip it all away, strip away the noise and you'll find that the canvas of your mind is free to paint the future you desire. Likewise, as you clear the clutter, you'll find that fear has no place in the fertile soil of your mind. Fear, you see, is the weed that strangles the growth of your visionary seed. Uproot it, remove it from your mind and you'll find that your vision begins to flourish organically. As your vision takes root, it's important to be detailed in painting your ideal future with the brush of your imagination. The more vivid the colors, the more precise the strokes, the more real your future becomes. Imagine every detail, every emotion, every experience you want your future to hold. Picture the happiness, the joy, the success you wish to attain. This is not just a mental exercise, but a journey towards a future that's waiting for you to claim. But remember this, a vision without emotions is like a body without a soul. It is your emotional investment that brings your vision to life. So, embed your vision with emotions that resonate deep within your being. Let these emotions be your guiding light as they make your vision resonate with the forces of luck. As you walk down this path of vision crafting, you move to the phase of rationalization of possibilities. This is where the magic happens. This is where you transform the impossible into the possible. This is where you leap from dreaming to manifesting. Rationalizing possibilities involve breaking down your grand vision into smaller, manageable objectives. These objectives are like stepping stones towards your ultimate vision. So, take that big, audacious vision and break it down. Each step you take, each milestone you achieve brings you closer to your grand vision. But, don't be rigid in your approach. Adapt your strategies, your plans as per your vision. Be like water, my friends, adapt and overcome any obstacle that comes your way. Remember, it's not about the path you take, but the destination you reach. Knowledge, in this stage, plays a crucial role. It illuminates your path, guiding you through the darkness of doubts and fears. It's like a lighthouse guiding a ship in a stormy sea. Embrace it, seek it, for it's your compass in the journey of fortune alchemy. So, as we embark on this exciting journey of fortune alchemy, let's remember, it's not about the destination but the journey itself. It's not just about attaining fortunes, but transforming ourselves into a magnet for miracles and opportunities. After all, we are the architects of our destiny, the masters of our fate, the creators of our reality. This, my friends, is the essence of fortune alchemy, a journey that starts with a vision and transforms into a reality beyond our wildest dreams. So, let's dream big. Let's aim high. Let's believe in the power of our visions. For in the end, it's not just about crafting a vision, but about living a life that's aligned with our true purpose, a life that's a manifestation of our grandest visions. Now, some may question, I have my vision, I have my plan, but how do I bring it to life? The answer, dear friends, lies in the ancient art of dream weaving. It's about aligning your deepest desires with the rhythms of the universe, about creating a tapestry of dreams so vibrant that it begins to manifest miracles in your life. The magic of dream weaving is powered by two potent forces, belief and action. Believe, my friends, in the power of your dreams. 
Believe in the reality of your vision. Believe in the magic of possibilities. Believe in yourself. This unwavering belief creates a magnetic field around you, attracting opportunities and miracles in your life. But belief alone is not enough. It has to be accompanied by action. Action, my friends, is the bridge between your vision and reality. It's the key that unlocks the door to your dreams. It's the force that propels your vision from the realm of imagination to the realm of reality. So, take that leap of faith, take that first step, take that action towards your dream. For it's in taking action that you weave the threads of your dream into the fabric of reality. However, dream weaving is not an overnight process. It involves persistence and patience. Like a gardener who tends to his plants with patience and care, you too must cultivate your mental and emotional gardens. Water your dreams with actions, nurture them with belief, weed out doubts and fears, and have patience as your dreams grow and bear fruits of success and happiness. Now, imagine a compass, an inner compass that points towards your true path. This compass, my friends, is your intuition. The next phase of fortune alchemy is intuition alignment. It's about tuning in to your inner guidance system, about listening to your gut feeling, about trusting your intuition. Being open and receptive to insights from within is the first step towards intuition alignment. You see, your intuition is like a whisper in the wind, a nudge in the right direction, a feeling that guides you towards your path. It's about quieting the noise and listening to the silent voice within. But, to truly align with your intuition, you need to trust it. Trust, my friends, is like a key that unlocks the wisdom of your intuition. It's the bridge between your conscious and subconscious mind, between your rational thinking and intuitive insights. So, trust in your inner guidance, in your gut feeling, in your intuition. For it's in trust that you amplify the voice of your inner guidance, making it loud and clear. However, intuition alignment doesn't mean disregarding your rational mind. Rather, it's about integrating intuitive insights with your rational thinking. It's about creating a synergy between your heart and mind, between your intuition and intellect. It's about finding a balance, a harmony that guides you towards your vision. As you align with your intuition, you begin to realize the importance of language in manifesting your dreams. You see, words have power, the power to create, the power to transform, the power to manifest. This leads us to the next phase of fortune alchemy, continual declarations. Continual declarations is about using language to affirm your dreams, to breathe life into your vision. It's about crafting statements that resonate deeply with your aspirations. These declarations are like mantras that you repeat to yourself, affirmations that strengthen your belief, that align you with your vision. But remember, declarations are not just words. They are powerful tools that when used with conviction, belief, and emotion, have the power to shift your reality. So, speak your declarations with conviction, believe in them, feel them, live them, and you'll find that they begin to shape your reality. Integrate these declarations into your daily routine. Affirm them when you wake up. Affirm them throughout the day. Affirm them before you sleep. Make them a part of your being, a part of your life, a part of your reality. And as you do so, you'll find that your life begins to mirror your declarations. Your reality begins to reflect your dreams. As we navigate through this journey of fortune alchemy, let's remember, it's about bringing our dreams to life about transforming our vision into reality, about aligning ourselves with the universe. It's not just about creating a future, but living a life that's a manifestation of our dreams, a life that's a magnet for miracles and opportunities. And while you are affirming your reality, aligning your dreams with your actions, and trusting your intuition, the universe is responding. You begin to observe a harmonious dance of coincidences, of perfectly timed occurrences, of unexpected opportunities. These are not mere accidents or chance happenings, my friends, these are synchronicities. The next phase of fortune alchemy is embracing synchronicities. Synchronicities are messages from the universe, a sign that you are on the right path, an indication that your dreams are manifesting. However, 
To recognize these synchronicities, you need to be aware, to be open to messages from the universe. It's about noticing the small miracles in your everyday life, about being open to the signs and signals that the universe is sending you. But recognizing synchronicities is just the beginning. You need to embrace them, to welcome them with open arms, to be grateful for them. Gratitude, my friends, is a powerful force. It's a force that amplifies the magic of synchronicities, a force that attracts more miracles and opportunities in your life. So, embrace the synchronicities with gratitude, with joy, with excitement. Let them fill your heart with hope, let them fuel your journey towards your dreams. Trust, my friends, plays a significant role in embracing synchronicities. Trust in the universe, trust in the process, trust in your journey. It's about believing that the universe is conspiring in your favor, that it's supporting the manifestation of your dreams. It's about having faith that all the pieces of the puzzle are falling into place, that your dreams are unfolding in perfect timing. As you journey through this process of fortune alchemy, you begin to realize that it's about more than just achieving your dreams, it's about the journey itself. It's about embracing the process with an open heart, about enjoying the ride, about trusting the flow of life. This brings us to the final phase of fortune alchemy, detachment of outcomes. Detachment of outcomes is about releasing the need for control over the exact path your blessings will take. You see, the universe has its own timing, its own wisdom, its own way of manifesting our dreams. And while we may have a plan, a vision, a goal, the universe may have a bigger, better, more beautiful plan for us. It's about embracing the journey with open hands, about allowing the universe to guide us, to surprise us, to delight us. It's about being patient, about trusting the timing of the cosmos, about surrendering to the flow of life. It's about allowing the universe to unfold our dreams in its own perfect timing, in its own magnificent way. Detachment of outcomes doesn't mean giving up on your dreams. Rather, it's about trusting the process, about having faith in the universe, about believing in yourself. It's about knowing that no matter what path you take, no matter what obstacles you face, no matter what twists and turns you encounter, you are destined to reach your dreams. As you master the art of detachment, you'll find that you are no longer chasing your dreams, but attracting them. You'll find that you are no longer creating your reality, but coexisting with it. You'll find that you are no longer swimming against the current, but flowing with it. And as you flow with the currents of life, as you trust the timing of the universe, as you surrender to the process, you'll find that miracles begin to unfold in your life. You'll find that opportunities begin to knock at your door, that synchronicities begin to dance around you, that your dreams begin to manifest in the most unexpected, most beautiful ways. So, my friends, embark on this journey of fortune alchemy with an open heart, with an open mind, with open hands. Believe in your dreams, trust in your journey, embrace the process, and watch as your life transforms into a magnet for miracles and opportunities. As you begin to detach from specific outcomes, Trusting in the universe's timing and wisdom, you advance into a deeper layer of the transformative journey. With open hands and heart, you now step into the art of dream weaving, a process that aligns your desires with the universe, creating a magnetic pull for miracles and opportunities in your life. Dream weaving is an ancient art, as old as the human ability to desire, to aspire, to dream. It goes beyond mere wanting or wishing. It's a sacred act of aligning your innermost desires with the universal energy, creating a powerful resonance that attracts your desires towards you. It's powered by belief and actions, for a dream without belief is like a bird without wings, and a dream without action is like a ship without a sail. Belief, my friends, is the fuel that propels your dreams into the universe. When you believe in your dreams, when you believe in your ability to achieve them, when you believe in the universe's ability to manifest them, you create a powerful energy that propels your dreams into the realm of possibilities. But belief alone is not enough. It must be accompanied by actions. Actions give form to your dreams. They give substance to your desires. They give direction to your journey. Every step you take, every move you make, is a statement to the universe, 
affirming your commitment to your dreams. It's a message to the universe, signaling your readiness to receive what you desire. Dream weaving requires patience and persistence. Patience, because every dream has its own gestation period, its own perfect timing for manifestation. Persistence, because every dream faces challenges, obstacles, resistance. But just as a seed breaks through the soil with persistence and patience, your dreams will break through the barriers with your persistence and patience. And as you weave your dreams with patience and persistence, you will need to actively cultivate your mental and emotional gardens. For just as a gardener removes the weeds, nourishes the soil, and ensures the right conditions for the seed to grow, you need to remove negative thoughts, nourish your mind with positive affirmations, and create the right emotional environment for your dreams to grow and flourish. And while you are weaving your dreams, tuning into your inner compass becomes essential. This is what we call intuition alignment. Intuition is your inner guidance system, the divine compass that points you towards your true path. It's that gut feeling, that inner voice, that sudden insight that guides you when logic fails, that directs you when the path is unclear, that reassures you when the journey is tough. Intuition alignment requires being open and receptive to the insights from within, to the whispers of your soul, to the nudges of your spirit. It requires silencing the chatter of the mind, quieting the noise of the world, and tuning into the silence within. It requires trust, trust in your inner wisdom, trust in your inner guidance. But how do you integrate intuition with the rational mind? How do you balance the guiding voice within with the analytical mind? It's about creating a harmony between the intuitive and the rational, about using the rational mind to analyze, to plan, to strategize, while using the intuition to guide, to inspire, to illuminate. As you balance intuition with rationality, as you weave your dreams with belief and action, as you align your desires with the universe, you'll find that your life begins to transform, that your dreams begin to manifest, that your existence becomes a living, breathing masterpiece of the universe's magic. And just as you have begun to harmonize the intuitive with the rational, weaving your dreams with a steady hand and a steadfast heart, your journey invites you into the realm of continual declarations. This realm is the realm of language, the realm of words, the realm of affirmations. Just as a sculptor uses his chisel to carve a masterpiece from a block of stone, you will use your words to carve your dreams into the fabric of reality. Your words have power, more power than you can imagine. The universe listens to your words, responds to your words, resonates with your words. But not just any words. The words that carry the most power, the words that invoke the magic of the universe, are the words that are deeply resonant with your aspirations, the words that are imbued with conviction, belief, and emotion. Crafting your declarations is like crafting a masterpiece. You need to be detailed, specific, and intentional. You need to infuse your declarations with the colors of your dreams, the textures of your desires, the shapes of your aspirations. You need to imbue your declarations with the energy of your emotions, the vibration of your belief, the certainty of your conviction. And once you have crafted your declarations, integrate them into your daily routine. Speak them in the morning to set the tone for the day. Speak them in the evening to wrap up the day with positive energy. Speak them whenever you need a boost of motivation, a jolt of inspiration, a surge of energy. Speak them until they become a part of you, until they become your reality. As you weave the fabric of your dreams with your declarations, you will begin to notice the universe responding to your words. You will begin to see unexpected yet perfectly timed occurrences, messages from the universe that reaffirm your path, your dreams, your declarations. This is what we call embracing synchronicities. Synchronicities are not mere coincidences. They are signs from the universe, affirmations of your path, validations of your dreams. They are the universe's way of saying, I hear you, I support you, I am with you. And to recognize these synchronicities, you need to be aware, open, receptive. But recognizing synchronicities is not enough. You need to embrace them, to welcome them, to engage with them. You need to acknowledge them with gratitude, for gratitude is the language of the universe, the currency of the cosmos. 
When you express gratitude for the synchronicities, you amplify their energy, you increase their frequency, you enhance their magic. And as you embrace the synchronicities, as you speak your declarations, as you weave your dreams, you will come to the realization that this journey is not just about creating your reality. It's about harmoniously coexisting with the universe, about releasing the need for control over the exact path your blessings will take. This is what we call detachment of outcomes. Detachment is not about indifference or lack of care. It's about trust, about faith, about surrender. It's about trusting the universal laws, about having faith in the timing of the cosmos, about surrendering to the wisdom of the universe. It's about embracing the journey with open hands, about unclenching the fists of control, about letting go of the reins of manipulation. It's about allowing the universe to surprise you with its infinite creativity, its boundless generosity, its unparalleled wisdom. As you find yourself further along the path, with your heart brimming with faith and your hands open in surrender, you journey into the realm of continual declarations. Understand, dear traveler, that your voice has power far beyond the spoken word. It carries the weight of your dreams, hopes, and desires, and it carries them out into the cosmos with every utterance. It's not so much about the volume of your voice, but rather the resonation within your spirit. The declarations you make are a testament to your dreams and aspirations. Each word, each sentence you speak, is a vibrant thread weaving into the tapestry of your destiny. Make no mistake, the crafting of these declarations is an art form in its own right. Each word is chosen with care, each phrase resonates deeply with the very core of your being. Like an artist paints with colors, you paint with words, and the canvas is your life. As you cultivate this practice, it's essential to incorporate your declarations into the rhythm of your daily existence. Let them be heard in the silence of the morning, as the world is still wrapped in the gauze of sleep. Let them fill the air at the end of the day, as the sun sets and the stars prepare to make their appearance. Embed them in your routine, in the very fabric of your life, until they become as natural and necessary as breathing. As you give voice to your aspirations, know that each utterance is filled with conviction, belief, and emotion. Your declarations are not mere words, but manifestations of your faith. You're speaking your dreams into existence, shaping your destiny with your language. Remember, the universe is always listening, always responding to your heartfelt affirmations. As you step further into your journey, you will notice the universe responding to your declarations. The world around you will begin to dance in a rhythm that speaks to the melody of your words. This is the magic of embracing synchronicities. These synchronicities are not just random events. They are orchestrated pieces of a grand symphony, composed by the cosmos itself. When you notice these perfectly timed occurrences, don't dismiss them as mere coincidences. Instead, recognize them as divine signs, affirming your path and validating your dreams. Being open and receptive is crucial here. The universe communicates in a subtle language, and to understand it, you must cultivate an awareness that transcends the mundane. Express your gratitude for these divine signs, for gratitude is the key that unlocks the full potential of these synchronicities. And then, as you move deeper into this journey, you will come to a crucial realization, one that requires a profound shift in perspective. This is the realm of detachment of outcomes. It's a realm that asks you not to focus on the destination, but rather to fully immerse yourself in the journey. Detachment doesn't mean that you care any less about your dreams or aspirations. It's about understanding that the universe works in its own perfect timing, in its own perfect way. It's about trusting that whatever path the universe has laid out for you, it is the right one. It's about surrendering control and allowing the cosmos to guide you. It's about understanding that while you may have a vision for your life, the universe might have a bigger and even better plan. This is not an invitation to passivity, but rather a call to a deeper trust. It's about trusting the universe, trusting the process, and most importantly, trusting yourself. It's about realizing that the more you let go of rigid expectations and outcomes, the more space you create for miracles and opportunities to manifest. In the end, 
The process of fortune alchemy is not about forcefully creating a reality, but about harmoniously aligning with the universe. It's a dance, a beautiful, intricate dance with the cosmos that transforms your life into a magnet for miracles and opportunities. It's a journey, a journey of discovering your true potential, of becoming the best version of yourself. It's your journey, your dance, your transformation. And it's happening right now, in every moment, with every breath you take. This journey that has been unfolding before your eyes and within your heart is reaching an important milestone. You've been crafting your vision, rationalizing possibilities, weaving your dreams, aligning your intuition, declaring your aspirations, and embracing the synchronicities. Now, we embark on the final stage of this transformative process, the detachment of outcomes. It seems paradoxical, doesn't it? To passionately strive towards your dreams and then be asked to detach from the outcomes. But this is not a contradiction, it's a lesson in trust and surrender. Trust in the universal laws, trust in the timing of the cosmos, trust in yourself. And surrender to the journey, to the rhythm of life, to the dance of the universe. The detachment of outcomes does not mean an abandonment of your dreams or aspirations. It doesn't require you to surrender your passion or your efforts. It simply asks that you release the need for control over the exact path your blessings will take. It's like planting a seed and trusting that it will grow, without trying to dictate how it should sprout or when it should bloom. Your role is to plant the seeds of your dreams, to water them with your actions, to nurture them with your love and faith. But the growth, the transformation, that's the magic of the universe. And that's where the detachment comes in. Holding on too tightly to a specific outcome can create a tunnel vision, limiting your capacity to see and seize the opportunities that the universe is constantly presenting. By detaching from the outcomes, you're opening yourself up to the infinite possibilities that the universe holds. It's about embracing the journey with open hands and an open heart. Detachment signifies a shift from actively creating our reality to harmoniously coexisting with the universe. It's about acknowledging that we are not separate from the universe, but a part of it. And when we align with this universal energy, when we flow with it rather than against it, miracles and opportunities seem to flow effortlessly into our lives. This journey of fortune alchemy is not a linear, predictable path. It's a journey that twists and turns, ascends and descends, dances and rests. It's a journey that calls for your courage, your faith, your persistence, and patience. But most importantly, it's a journey that calls for your love. Love for yourself, love for others, love for the universe and the magic it holds. As we conclude this grand voyage of transformation, I want to remind you that fortune is not something that is found or attained. It is something that's created, something that's attracted. And each and every one of you has the power to be an alchemist, to transform your life into a magnet for miracles and opportunities. Remember, the universe is always listening, always responding. It's up to us to align our desires, our dreams, our actions with the universe. And when we do, when we truly align with the universe, we become a conduit for the flow of miracles. Thank you for embarking on this journey of fortune alchemy with me. If this message resonated with you, I invite you to spread the word, share the wisdom, and let us all be catalysts for transformation in our lives and in the world. Remember to subscribe and like for more such content. Together, let's co-create a world brimming with miracles, opportunities, and abundance. Until next time, remember your power, remember your magic, remember your fortune alchemy. And remember, the universe is always listening, always responding. The question is, are you ready to align, to co-create, to transform? If so, then your journey has only just begun.